anyone have any idea what that means? As you're getting your child ready for school, and you find yourself and start screaming and yelling, and your whole life you said, I will never be like my mother. And suddenly you realize I'm being just like my mother. Or you dads. trying to teach your son to tie his shoe and he just can't get it right and you've had a bad day at, at work and, and you lose it. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh, I swore I would never be like my father. Whenever we say that, we mean the bad parts. See, when we focus on being like somebody, a lot of times we'll be like them. Even when we focus on the negative people in our lives, when we say, I'm not going to be like them, we're going to become like them. So my challenge to you during this season of Advent, during Christmas, is to come to know Jesus and learn to be like him. Because when you come to know Jesus and you learn to be like him, you'll become him. You'll become the feet and the hands and the mouth of the body of Jesus Christ. And that's why he came to this earth, to show us what God's love is truly like. He came to this earth as a real human being to laugh with us and to cry with us to experience real human emotions and feelings. So God is with us. Amen? I want to invite you now to come forward. What's up, guys? Welcome to another clip. Uh, there's something interesting going on here. Apparently, there's a fire somewhere around here at, our, at work in our building. And fire engines are showing up all over the place. I'm gonna walk up there and uh, see what's going on. Join me. I suspect it could be just like a fire alarm that went off, but there might not actually be a fire. I'm gonna go see what my brother has to say. I'm sure my brother's standing outside uh, watching. Cause he's just as nosy as me. So I just booked my uh, hotel room for uh, Saturday, Sunday. And I just ordered a pizza because I'm hungry. I told you my brother would be out here being nosy. So what's going on, brother? All right. You think it's an actual fire or just a fire oh, alarm going off? Can you smell it? I smell it. It's in this building right here. I don't really smell it. I don't see any smoke. Must be something small. Well, I know the security came in and was freaking the fuck out. Yeah? Yeah. Something that real actually going on here for once, huh? I don't know why I gotta clean the phone lens, you guys. There we go, clean lens. I smell fucking plastic burning. Went to go uh, book my uh, Fandango tickets, but Fandango keeps having issues, you guys, which is annoying. But at least I got my hotel ticket paid for. Wee woo. They were here pretty quick. They were. I, I, it sounded like they were coming pretty close to us. Well, but... The fire station's right there inside. Ah, okay. <coughs> Somewhere in there. I can smell it. I don't know how big it was. I know he came in here freaking out. Oh, is it freezing out there? My fingers are numb. I just want to get a good look at this Christmas tree. 
since we're not having one at the house this year. I was planning on getting us a real Christmas tree at the house, but uh, since Gabe's not going to be there, they kind of figured what's the point. <sighs> Should get a good look at it with the lights off, huh? Ooh, so Christmassy. Ah, I love Christmas. I don't know why. It's not even the gifts that I love about Christmas. It's just, I don't know, what Christmas symbolizes to me. The way I grew up, without any family, and on my own pretty much in foster homes, group homes, and residential treatment facilities, uh, it made, left me a longing for, for belonging. Uh, and so Christmas always just kind of, that's what that always represented to me, represented to me. And, uh, yeah, so it kind of got a special spot in my heart. Anyways, enough of the sappy stuff. Are at McDonald's sharing, uh, sharing an experience of their new uh, kiosk system that they got over there. So they invited uh, David to bring somebody for a free meal and my father some to, to, in to bring for a free meal or something like that. Mm -hmm. How's everything taste, guys? Tastes good. Hello. Hello. I'm on my date. We're gonna go see Star Wars soon. We're, it's really loud in here, so I'm not even sure if the camera can pick me up. But we're at Hot Shots. It's pretty cool. It's pretty busy in here, too. The coolest person in this whole place is sitting right over there. She's <laughs> right there. Oh, it went blurry on us. Oh, there you are. We're going to go see Star Wars after we eat our invisible meal. Well, that was a tasty meal. How was yours? Now we're getting ready to go to watch the movie. That was a really good movie, you guys. Probably the best Star Wars I've ever uh, seen. Certainly better than the first one. I have to figure out how to get the recliner to go back up. I have no idea how to do that. Yeah, I'm sure you guys really care about the credits, huh? <laughs> Good morning, friends. Uh, I got some sleep. Not too much, unfortunately. Here's my... My, uh... My room. <laughs> I couldn't speak for a second. Um, I am about to go eat some breakfast. Uh... I don't think, well, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, this is the last time I'm going to be meeting her. Not because this is what I want, but this is what I'm reading from her. <sighs> Which is a bummer, because uh, she's pretty dang cool. I uh, liked her a lot. But I believe if I'm reading the uh, the unspoken cues correctly... She does not like the distance that she's having to travel to see me. Um, plus, I was teasing her about driving, which I don't think uh, turned out well for me. <laughs> I didn't realize she didn't like it. I should have known better. Uh, so I'm kind of bummed about that. But first, I've got to go to church and uh, with her and meet people. Then I'll be heading home stuff. So I'll talk to you guys in a minute. I might, I'm might i going to go get something to eat. So Easily the weirdest looking fan that I've ever seen. More decorative and functional, I imagine.
We light the third Advent candle as it reminds us of God's love for all the people of the world.